This is Masay Neiman. He excels at the classic one-handed knee snipe so many people have longed to either love or hate. I previously believed that knee sniping was a technique which was only effective when used offensively as an opening strike and only against an opponent who wasn't expecting it. A risky, surprising type of attack. I've recently learned that this view is overly simplistic and this technique can be applied effectively in other tactical situations. Neiman uses snipes defensively to surprisingly good effect. I would have thought this would always end in a double hit but more often than not, he pulls it off. Some opponents lose to the snipe time and time again, clean exchanges without even coming close to a double hit. Other times, he doubles out three times in a row. Why is this? Let's investigate. Real quick, I just want to mention that one of the reasons this technique is effective is because many people do not know how to address it in a match. My goal with these fight analysis is to highlight unique fencing and my goal with this video specifically is to highlight these types of attack so that people will be more aware of how to use them in a new way and also hopefully to stress the importance of practicing a defense against a knee snipe. I am well aware knee sniping is a hot topic for some people, but I will kindly ask you keep any discussion productive. I consider these strikes valid, albeit risky, and this is an analysis on how Neiman uses these strikes surprisingly well. A strength of Neiman's fencing is that he can rapidly recover from a missed snipe and continue fencing. I mean seriously, he recovers from a knee snipe and goes into half solding to defend against a thrust. We see another failed one-handed snipe just before he goes in to make a blade grab. Other techniques can include landing a one-handed thrust and some cool cross-cutting. What makes Neiman's fencing unique and a more difficult opponent to fence is his use of the snipe as a defensive action. He snipes the legs of his opponents as they attack. Because the opponent is committed to an action, their ability to defend against the strike is unlikely. Sniping into an attack is effective, especially against opponents who do not utilize low golds, but it is risky. I was surprised though by how many clean exchanges he had, despite my expectation of this technique getting constant double hits. Although some of these exchanges gave him a point due to the way the tournament handled after blows. Some clubs might call this a double hit, mine included. Sniping got him a lot of points, but it also got him a lot of double hits, something to keep in mind if you are considering adopting this fencing style. This isn't really surprising and happened more frequently when he sniped the same opponent repeatedly. While some opponents became more defensive, Others became more aggressive and committed to their attacks, hoping to close the distance fast enough to prevent the knee snipe and getting a double hit instead. The other kind of double happens after a failed snipe. While you scramble to get your defense back up, you've created a window of opportunity for your opponent to counterattack. Your opponent presses in, and the quickest defense is to drop your point. But if you do not get containment on your opponent's blade, it will likely be a double. Neiman recovers well from this snipes, but they are certainly a challenging thing to recover from quickly. Key takeaway points, sniping can be a very effective technique, though it can also be very risky and lead to double hits and after blows. These strikes can be frustrating, especially if you don't know how to defend against them. I'm not a fan of knee snipes because I'm not a fan of knee injuries, though I still believe that the best way to prevent knee sniping is to practice the defense against them. There is no use getting mad at people who use them effectively. I'm trash at defending against snipes, but I'm not about to ban their use of my club. Like all techniques, there is a counter. If you learn how to defend against them, it will become less effective and be used less frequently. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting and took it in the light for which it was intended. I know a lot of people have strong opinions regarding sniping and HEMA, and I hope we can keep the conversation productive. Thank you.